The Saudi stock market suffered its biggest fall in years following President Trump's warning. It recovered slightly during the day, but it was the first tangible sign of the impact of this crisis on the Saudi economy. An impact, too, on the once cozy relationship between the Trump administration and Saudi leaders. A statement released by the Saudi news agency threatening global retaliation against any sanction came just hours after President Trump spoke of severe punishment should Saudi Arabia prove complicit in Jamal Khashoggi's disappearance. No doubt among members of Congress that this should involve economic sanction, despite President Trump's stated reluctance for such measures. So I will just say this to you with full confidence. If this is proven to be true, there is going to be a response from Congress. It's going to be nearly unanimous. It's going to be swift. And it's going to go pretty far. And that could include arms sales, but it could include a bunch of other things as well. European leaders, too, making clear they will not stand by. They must have seen the huge international concern from the United States, uh, now from uh, Britain, France and Germany. And what they need to do is to cooperate fully with the investigation that the Turks are asking us to do and to get to the bottom of this. And if, as they say, uh, this, this terrible murder didn't happen, then where is Jamal Khashoggi? And that's what the world wants to know. A former CIA director casting doubt on the vehement Saudi denials of involvement. Their denials ring hollow, very much ring hollow. To go after a permanent resident of the United States uh, who wa uh, writes for the Washington Post uh, and doing it on foreign soil at a diplomatic mission, to me it would be inconceivable that such an operation would be run by the Saudis without the knowledge of the day-to-day -day decision maker of Saudi Arabia. That's uh, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. In an apparent bid to defuse the tension, the Saudi Foreign Ministry has released a tweet thanking the U.S. and others for refraining from jumping to conclusions. Despite this, though, a relationship that was once so warm is, along with the Saudi stock market, reaching a new low. Mike Hanna, Al Jazeera, Washington.